Good morning to everyone. Bezat Hashem means high is going to be 7.45. 7.45 means ha, please be on time. Uh, we count the Omer. Today is the 19th day of the Omer, which is two weeks and five days. And continuing in the Arachot of Muktzeh, we were talking in the last few days about raw meat versus raw fish. And we said that there's a distinction. Raw meat is not muktze. Whether it is frozen or not frozen doesn't make a difference because even frozen raw meat could be defrosted. And therefore it is not muktze versus raw fish. According to the Shulchan Aruch and the Rambam, it is muktze. That is, of course, the halakha. However, we did say that today raw fish that is also eaten um, in its state of being raw, like sushi, are also not mukte because of the fact that uh, today it's edible. And therefore that would determine uh, the status of the mukte. The question is, what happens if you have raw meat that is spoiled? It's raw meat that is spoiled, that no person would actually eat, is that mukte? So the Arachah says very interestingly, that even raw meat that is spoiled, where no one would eat it in the world, is still not mukte. Why? Because you could give it to an animal. And since you're able to give it to animals, it doesn't have the status of mukse. It's considered to be something that's usable on Shabbat. So one can make an argument and say, so why did we have to get into, let's say if we're not dealing with spoiled meat, let's say we're dealing with regular meat, why do we have to say there are some people that are, uh, you know, maybe exceptional people that will eat raw meat? Why do we have to say that? Just say you can give it to an animal. And the answer is because of the fact that regular meat, even if it's raw, you're not going to give to the animal because it's for human consumption. So why would I give good meat to an animal when it's for human consumption? And therefore, you need to find a person or people that would be willing to eat raw meat as opposed to um, uh, spoiled meat, which no person's going to eat. That's Its whole purpose is for the animal and therefore it's mutal. That's the basis. That's the reason. That's the same reason why raw fish, according to the Rambam, was mukze, even though you could give it to an animal, because of the fact that you're not going to give it to an animal, since it's meant for human consumption. The same logic is said by uh, meat that is not kasher. Is meat that is not kasher considered to be mukse? And the answer is no, it's not considered to be mukse. Why not? Even though a person is not able to eat it, but nevertheless, he could give it to a pet. He could give it to an animal. Meat that is uh, not kasher is permitted to be given to the animals, so long as it doesn't involve the prohibition of basar v'chalav. Mixtures of meat and milk, sometimes you have uh, dog food, for example, that have mixtures of meat and milk, and that is a problem to benefit from even. Uh, but let's say we're just dealing with nevelotu trefot, we're just dealing with non-kasher meat, meat that either it doesn't come from a kasher animal or was not slaughtered properly, those are not mukzeh because it could be given to an animal. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen v'amen.